Hello viewers. All this time we were working on Power BI desktop to create the reports. So these reports are stored in the local machine in PBIX format. Whatever report that you are creating will have a business need which will be required by a lot of end users. So for those end users to view your report, you need to publish them so that they'll have access to your reports. In this video, we are going to publish reports to Power BI service and create a dashboard out of it. Subscribe to my channel to get alerts on my new videos on technical front. So what actually happens when you publish the reports? Your report gets into the cloud-based Power BI service. And how do we check those reports? Go to app.powerbi.com, which actually connects you to the Power BI service. You will first need to log in with your credentials to access the Power BI service. Once you open it, you will be able to see few links in the sidebar. And we are going to focus on my workspace. This is where your published reports get reflected. Now let's go to our Power BI desktop and get our report published to Power BI service. So this is the Power BI report that we'll be using for this video which is a retail analysis sample. This is the sample report from the Microsoft site. Now I'm going to publish this report to the Power BI service. So click on publish. To first publish your report, you need to log in to your Power BI desktop. So make sure you are logged in here so that your report gets published to the Power BI service. So I'll be asked to choose the destination to publish the Power BI report where I'll be selecting my workspace. So you can see that the report is now getting published to Power BI service. Now it got published. So now let's go to the app.powerbi.com to check this report there. Under my workspace, you can see two files, which are the retail analysis sample PBIX. One is of the report type, whereas the other one is the semantic model type. When you open the report file, you will be able to see the visuals that you have created across various pages. So you can see the page name here along with the various visuals. And the other file is going to be the semantic model of the PBIX file. So to know more about what a semantic model is and how to create one, you can check my previous videos in my channel. Now first, let's open the report file. So in this file, you will see all the visuals. Now you have an option to share the entire PBIX file as is, or you can create a dashboard out of it with the required visuals. So to share a report, click on this share icon and then you can just give the name or the email address and then click on send which will share this report to the desired end user. Now let's get into the dashboard creation part. So go to my workspace, there click on new item and then select dashboard. So now you have to name the dashboard. I'll say retail analysis final and then I'll click on create which will create a dashboard. What is a dashboard? If we can very well share our reports to others, then what is the need to create a dashboard? Continue watching this video to know the answer for this question. Power BI dashboard is a single page that is expected to provide an overall picture of the business. So it, it will contain all the important visuals from the report that you had created. The dashboard is initially going to be a blank page and this blank page is referred to as canvas. And we are going to place the visuals on this canvas. Now go to the PBIX file in my workspace. I'm going to choose the visuals from this report to be placed on my dashboard. From the overview page, let's say I want this particular visual to be placed on the dashboard. So what I'll do is, I'll just click on this pin visual, which is going to ask me where I want to pin this visual. 
So I'll say existing dashboard and then select retail analysis final. Now click on pin. Go to dashboard. So there you can see this particular visual to be appearing. Similarly, I might want other visuals also to be pinned. So let's say I want this visual to be present in my dashboard. So I'll pin this visual. I will also pin this visual. From the next page, let's say I want this one to be pinned. So now that we have pinned all the required visuals to the dashboard, now let's go to the dashboard. So you can see all the visuals here, but they are totally assorted in various shapes. I'm just working on the look and feel of this dashboard. Each visual that you see here is placed in a tile. You can see here the entire page is in a white background. So you will not be able to clearly understand the various visuals that you have placed here. I'm just going to work on the dashboard theme by clicking on this dashboard. And then you can actually go to your custom theme where you can choose the colors that you want the tile to be or the background of this dashboard to be. So I'll just make the background to be a kind of dark gray and the tile background let it be white and you also have an option to choose the font color. Initially it's black which is actually catchy and which actually makes others understand what your report is all about. If you want you can also change the colors of your tile font. I'll just retain it to be black and then when I click on save, this is how my new dashboard is going to look like. I can actually share this report to the end users by clicking on share and then I can give the name or the email address and the moment I give grant access, they'll have access to my dashboard. Hope you like this video. See you soon with my next set of videos.